What's up guys, this is the Austin Nerd Show and today we are unboxing, as you can see, a Pokemon 20th Anniversary Elite Trainer Box. Um, now I've been buying a couple of these uh, card packs. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with Pokemon cards currently, but there's um, packs out that uh, for the generations that you've been able to buy so far and it's had um, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Pikachu which just came out. And then now they have this Elite Trainer Box that you can buy as well. Um, and so it's just, uh, ultimate, like an ultimate box type thing. Like it shows everything pictured here on the back. Um, so you get, um, looks like, uh, 10 booster packs, which are the cards right there. Um, then you get these sleeves that you can package your cards into. There's, um, dice, um, energy cards, uh, figure what the flip things are. Um, I don't know if those are what they call, uh, condition markers. So there's like poison and sick and stuff like that. You get this um, exclusive card, which I believe it says it's a, a Shaman EX. I'm assuming I'm not big into Pokemon out of the first generation, which is why I buy these. Um, then, of course, you get the book and this bo outer box that it comes in and everything. Um, so, like I said, I buy this because I'm a fan of the original 151 Pokemon and stuff. And so here's um, the book. So there's all the generation card packs and stuff. Um... Now, as I said, I buy these because um, it has a lot of the old Pokemon cards in it. So it's got like all these different versions and stuff. I don't know if this is all of them or not. Um, but I've bought all of the four packs that I mentioned to you already um, with the different uh, typed, um, of, I guess, like I said, the Charmander. All pretty much four of these card packs um, packed into it. And so as you can see through here, there's uh, all different types of cards and stuff here of the originals so it's hard to see that top row there on the camera um but there's yeah all of these and then of course you get into um the newer generation stuff too so as going through this i'm going to of course you know open each pack and say the names and stuff and see what rares we got and everything um and as i say the names i'm probably going to mess up really bad because i have absolutely no clue um what the names are of the newer pokemon um but we'll just go with it. So there's, of course, the new pack with a Pikachu made up of all the starter Pokemon. I know that much of elite, at least um, the different starter Pokemon and stuff. So we'll take all this packaging out. And so we'll grab all our booster packs out. Turn them all in the same direction. We'll split them up into fives. Should be one more somewhere in here. Oh, all these card things. That. So here, of course, is our um, Shaman card. I don't know, Shaman is what I'm going to call it card. And of course, it's an EX. And so it's got a aroma of gratitude and floral, grain, floral gain with 60 um, hit po or points on it, whatever, damage. I guess, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Pokemon. Um, the last time I did anything with cards, it was with the originals, you know, back in the 90s and stuff. And so we just... We played the game, but we never knew actually how to do it because we I was probably between five and six probably when I first came out. So we would just play, but never know. But this is a foil card. It's hard to see because it's in this plastic wrapper and stuff. But cards like this, I go ahead and give to my little cousin who's now into Pokemon and stuff. And so all the newer cards I take out and give to him. So here are the um, card pack um, like sleeves that you can put them in. Um, so I know more stuff like that because I've played uh, Magic the Gathering more recently. And so I know it's like stuff with dice and everything. The markers, which are new to me. I know we used to have um, little um, coin type things back in the day. Remind me of Pogs, if anybody remembers those. But um, so I'll take about everything out now. So as I said, we have the dice, which for this isn't really going to matter. The whole um, major part of this is the actual booster pack cards. And I did see in here, and I want to open it, I probably will damage it even though I don't want to. But this is really cool, and I'm probably going to um, post this up somewhere. But it, there you got Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, and Pikachu. And of course, Venusaur right there is my favorite, because I love the um, Bulbasaur um, transformation or evolutions and stuff. So now we'll go ahead and uh, start with this. Hopefully... Everything stays fine. I've never opened cards like this before or not, but we'll go ahead and start with a Charizard pack. So we'll go ahead and just um, open these. Not sure. Of course, this pack's going to be hard for me to open. 
usually I just rip right into them and they're fun. So I know there are card tricks you can do and stuff um, that I've seen people do before, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but so first up, we have Machop, uh, Leaf, or I forget what they're called. I just I'll just say green, whatever color. I don't know what it's called. I know there's Leaf, uh, Life, Grass, probably I believe what it used to be called or something like that. But anyway, I'll just say Energy. Um, then we got Geo Dude, Pikachu, ooh a shiny Energy. That's why I've been collecting at least one of each of the like original types of energies. And I've gotten a lot of the um, holographic or shinies and stuff. And so that's going to be a nice one. Then we got a newer one, which is um, Diancy. Or, uh, yeah, I'll just go with Diancy. <laughs> I have no clue what else to call it. Rapidash, which is awesome. Um, Flabibi, something like that. I don't know. We got a trainer and gold bat. It looks like the Flabibi. Or no, maybe it wasn't. So it looks like the Rapidash was our rare card out of this pack. So that is cool. Pretty sure I already have those, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So next up is the Pikachu card pack. So we're going to open this. So first up we have is Krabby, Geodude, Fire Energy, a Red Energy, another Magic or a Magikarp, a Trainer, the... Um, Sylveon, which is the Eevee Evolution, one of the newer ones. Then Blastoise, which is really... I don't know if I have this, because I know the Blastoise pack, it came with a Blastoise. Um, but I don't think I have this one, because I think the ones it comes with are different, because I've had multiple Charizard just like this. But as, as you can see, it's all shiny or holographic. I don't know if they still call them that or not anymore, but that is awesome. That's definitely going to stay in the collection. And we have another trainer. A trainer and a trainer. So we got a bunch of trainers at the end of there. So that getting that Blastoise was awesome. Speaking of that, we have Blastoise as our next card pack up. So then can't get these cards open. So I'm gonna damage them if anything's ever worth anything. But um, so we'll start of course with the water energy, magic carp, ponyta, machop. Ooh, a holographic or shiny Paris. That's awesome. Meowstic. I've never seen that before. Gyarados, which is cool. <laughs> It'd be nice to have shiny because I already have a Gyarados. But that was the rare for this pack. Gulpin, which is a newer one. Metapod. And Cloyster. So those are all awesome. It's um, now pretty much just looking to get uh, shiny out of all the um, newer card stuff. Because I have most of them. There are um, a few I still need, though. Um, but I've opened a lot of, cause each one of those packs come with four booster packs and stuff. So times that by four and then, uh, bro, my brother's also opened some, so he's given me a lot of his cards too and stuff. So I have quite a, opened quite a bit by now. So first for this pack, which was a Venusaur, I believe we got, um, Doduo, Tangela, Ghastly, Psychic Energy, uh, trainer, don't know how to say this one, Altaria, I'm going to go with. Oh, there's, a, of course, a shiny holographic golem, whichever I needed. Um, Fetchling, Machoke, and Clefable, which I don't know if I had that one yet or not either. So that is awesome. So possibly got two new cards out of there. Then finally out of this half, we have Charizard as the pack art. Which I really like these pack art things. I wish they... I don't kind of understand though. I mean I do but I don't. But why they chose, you know, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. And then they just did Pikachu and stuff. So for this pack we have Paris. Rhyhorn. Clefairy. Diglett. Shiny Graveler, which is awesome. Uh, this is... I can't... It's... Um, Gardevoir? Something like that? I know I've seen um, the green version before, but um, as you can see in there, but this is a Mega EX. So I'm, um, I was going to say this one's probably the rare, but this may just been a thrown in one. Um, so I'm sure my cousin will like having that one. Doug Trio, Charmander, which I do have all the um, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard versions of this kind. I'm not exactly sure what it is, or it has a little trainer there that reminds me of Harry Potter. And it has these um, symbols on the side. And once again, with me not knowing much about the new. I don't know what that represents, but they're there. So we got another Clefable and then a Trainer Claremont. 
So we got that. So now for the second half, so we're starting out with a Pikachu. So if we can get these open. I've never had any problems opening these so far out of all the ones I've opened, but today they're like tightly packaged there at the top. Usually I just rip them right down the uh, middle. Um, so we have Clefairy, Ponyta, Magikarp, whatever this new energy is. Ooh, there's a shiny Doug Trio. That is awesome. So, of course, that's the rare. Then we have Jirachi, Pinsir, Raichu. So that looks like that may be a different Raichu than what I have. I'm not exactly sure. Um, another trainer and a trainer. So that was pretty awesome. Getting a lot of shinies in here of ones I already have, which is still awesome. Ah, starting out mysteries. Ooh, so we have the w new white energy. Then we have Magmar, P uh, Paris, Caterpie, or Caterpie, as I like to call it. Zubat, shiny Zubat, which I believe I already have one. I think I have both Zubat and Golbat in that. Then we have, a, um, I call it a Vettel. I don't know exactly what it, sure it's called, but um, I know that's pretty. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that Articuno there. I already have um, the Zapdos, and I don't know if there's a Moltres or not. I didn't see it in that um, book I was going through at the beginning, but that is awesome. No, more. It's got such a weird texture. I don't know if you can um, kind of see the texture. It's almost like fingerprint stuff, kind of. But that is awesome. I love that card so much. That's going to be awesome. Then we have Wobbuffet, Trainer, and Metapod. So that Articuno compared to the um, old original ones is a lot better because the old ones was just kind of plain and basic. You know, that had a HP of 130 where the original had, um, I'm not exactly sure on the number. I want to say it was about between 60 and 80. It could be a lot higher than that. I'm just not um, remembering. Um, but I know a lot of the bigger, considered stronger Pokemon didn't have high um, HPs and stuff back in the day. But Oh, well, and someday I'll probably show off um, all my old cards that I have. But for this pack, we have Caterpie, Purple Energy, Meowth, Tangla, uh, Trainer, which is the shiny version, another Trainer, Parasect as the rare, I um, think that's Swallow, which was the smaller form of that, um, I think it was a rare we got in a pack before, same other Trainer, not shiny, and then a Maintenance Trainer, so that is cool, next up we have another Pikachu pack, so I'm not sure if Either I've just not opened them all the same, like I didn't split them like by their characters or what, but I didn't know I'd have uh, more than two of each one, but here we have Energy, Diglett, Pikachu, Zubat, ooh, a shiny Machoke, that's awesome, a Flareon EX, which is cool, I already have this though, um, a Jinx, which is cool, I don't know if I have that one yet, a Snornut, trainer and a graveler so we've gotten all forms of um geodude golem and graveler out of all these packs which i besides gra uh golem i've already had so that's pretty awesome to have all of those and this is our last pack which was a blastoise and we've got slowpoke whatever this energy is ghastly crabby Ooh, a shiny Ghastly. Uh, Deadening, or Deadening. I've heard of this and seen it a lot because I always think it's Pikachu. Um, but it's a uh, real cute little mouse thing and stuff. Uh, Hitmonlee, Esper, Trainer, and another Trainer. So that's going to be it for the um, all the Pokemon uh, Elite Trainer Box cards um, for this month. I definitely say... Um, my two best cards that I received out of here were probably this Blastoise EX because I don't think it came in the pack um, that you could buy that already comes with um, cards. I know it is in their, I think at least their EXs, um, but I don't think it's the exact same. And then definitely this Articuno, like I said, I'm not sure like how rare it's considered to be and all that, but I think it is completely awesome to have it and stuff and now have Articuno and Zapdos stuff. And I'll have to look to see if there is a Moltres because... You would think there would be, but um, I didn't remember seeing it in the card. So that is awesome to have all those. 
Um, so, like I said, that's going to be it for um, the Elite Trainer box here. Um, go ahead and hit the um, like button if you enjoyed this unboxing of the Elite Trainer box. I can definitely get more. Um, I didn't know they'd be out and available because only before the only time I saw them they were um, online to order. But I just saw them in stores this past week. Um, but go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave any comments let me know what your favorite Pokemon out of the packs were. Um, subscribe to see more and we'll see you next time.